Over the last few years, we have witnessed a very high increase of the use of haploidentical allogenic stem cell transplantation. And this has been really a major advance in the field thanks to the introduction of the so-called post-graft infusion of high-dose cyclophosphamide. However, despite all of these advances and the enthusiasm about haplotransplant, we are still facing some important limitations, especially uh, delayed immune reconstitution, uh, higher incidence of opportunistic infections, but also graft-versus-host disease. So, in another word, Although I think the field is moving forward uh, and we are finding more donors, there is still some unmet medical need when it comes to solving uh, these limitations. And this is where the uh, introduction of these so-called genetically modified TK cells that uh, I'm presenting uh, about is likely to represent a very important tool towards improving immune reconstitution. So this is a relatively long story that has been ongoing for many years, but to make a long story short, what we have shown in this work, that in the setting of haplotransplant, T-cell depleted haplotransplant, the infusion of these genetically uh, modified TK cells, uh, the name of these cells now is called Zalmoxis, is uh, capable of uh, improving immune reconstitution. The mortality will decrease. The incidence of uh, GVHD is extremely low. And at the end of the day, uh, we have an improved overall survival. And we were able to uh, achieve these conclusions thanks to a pair matched analysis between patients who were included in a phase two trial, in an ongoing phase three trial, who received these TK cells after transplant, and we compared them to a, a pair matched series from the registry of the EBMT. And this is where we found that there is an advantage to deliver TK cells after haplotransplant. So this is really very exciting because obviously this is the era of cellular therapy, the era of immunotherapy, and this type of cells, which is now uh, approved, will prove to be extremely useful in our field.